Hi guys. Welcome, welcome to my kitchen. Here we are again. I'm going to do a modified bloom pour. So yesterday I posted a video on all these beautiful, warm, earthy colors. And for those that follow me know I love lime. And so you know what? It was like cheating on your partner. I felt guilty not using lime. It was terrible. So today we're gonna pay homage to the color itself and we're gonna load this canvas with lime. So it's about a 12 by 12 canvas. I've already poured my base coat down and we're just gonna go for it, you guys. We are going to do another modified bloom in lime. Lots and lots of lime. I'm gonna start with some other colors though first. And then we'll put our lime down. So this is a metallic cobalt blue. Pretty blue it is. Pretty blue. I'm going to title this Must Love Lime. Remember that Remember that chick flick a few years ago, Must Love Dogs? This is MLL, Must Love Lime. There you go. We struggle to find names for pieces. That's it. That's the name. Must Love Lime. This is a, I don't know, it's kind of a wish-washy, lemon, limey, green color. So... You know what, you guys, I, I again want to say thank you to everybody that has followed me or commented or liked or, you know what, even you guys like doing this technique, it just blows me away. You guys are awesome. Awesome. It's super, super overwhelming to have so many people, you know, either like what I do or want to emulate what I do. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. Lime. Look at that. Looks better already. Load it up with lime, you guys. And this is a little bit of gold. This was just a plain Craftsmart gold. I think I used it yesterday. I found it nah, didn't really look like gold, so I added a little bit of Jacquard dry pigments. My normal white Deco Art Satin Enamel, and I actually plopped a little bit of Dragonfly Glaze in there only because I had a little bit extra left and I didn't really have anything to do with it. And let's just put some more blue in. We're going to do black cell mix as always. Stuck on my black, you guys. Okay, here we go. Black. And as always, you're going to see the top of my hair. I apologize for that in advance. I can't really do much about it. Let's torch this first. Malfunctioning tools. Okay, guys, we're going to try to blow sideways across this piece and see what happens. Here we go. seconds let our center pop back up like usual and we'll go from there yeah it was kind of weird laying down colors and not putting lime on it I you know my color used to be umber I put umber in everything everything I ever did had burnt umber in it and then for some reason I got away from burnt umber and I switched to lime so that's where I am I'm on lime so here we go we must love lime it's gonna blow it out again guys And I forgot a cloth, so we'll grab that. Yesterday I told y'all I had this kind of sexy whiskey wrath voice going on, and today I woke up with a bit of a head cold, so I'm not really up to snuff. So I'm going to use that as my excuse. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's modify our bloom. We're going to take our fancy modifying tool today. It's a kebab stick. But, as I've told everybody, it could be a dental pick, it could be a toothpick, it could be whatever you want it to be. It all works. Here we go. Listen to that weird noise on the canvas. <laughs> Same as always, make some big lines, make some saw lines. We'll go back in later on and add to it. 
Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Well, maybe something. Divide that up a bit more. Okay, you guys, here we go. We're just going to tip this out for the time being. We're not looking for any kind of composition. We're just going to move the paint from side to side. I can't see my camera, so I don't even know if this is all in the frame, but we're just going to hope for the best. There we go. Tip, 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 tip. Don't be afraid, you guys. Don't be afraid to stretch this out. Just, you know what? If you don't stretch it, then you don't expose the cells and things. All you're doing is moving paint. So, you know what? You got to stretch it. At some point, you got to let it go off the corner and see what happens. It's only paint. You guys got this. You guys will nail it. I know it. I've seen some amazing pieces come out of the groups. You guys rock. Okay, let's take it maybe down and off a corner here. And back to center. I have to stop plopping. I notice I'm really mad for plopping my canvas down. Plop. It's like thuds the ground. I'm going to go all the way over. Not off yet on that corner, just over. I might go off. I don't even know if I'm going to go off. I think I'm just going to take it back. Take it back, you guys. Take it back. Look at that lime. How can you not love lime, you guys? When I was listening to my video yesterday. I think I talk about some of the weirdest things sometimes, like raccoons in the garbage. Like, who wants to hear about raccoons in the garbage? But then, you know what? Somebody was kind enough to comment on YouTube and tell me to keep it real. And I thought, you know what? That's a pretty, that's a pretty slick comment because that's me. You know, that, that, that is... That is something that I would talk about. That's something I would come up and say, hey, you should have seen what happened to me yesterday. And so, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for reminding me to keep it real. Um, I'm never going Hollywood, you guys. I'm, I'm not really glamoury and glitzy. I'm just pretty simple. I just like to kind of plop paint around in the kitchen. I said that before, but sometimes people don't really get that. So, you know what? People that join my YouTube channel and expect fancy intros and that, it's probably not going to happen. Two reasons. One, I don't have the faintest idea how to do it. And two, it's not really me anyway. This is me. Simple, humble, happy. You know what? I live life with a full heart. I paint happily. Most days. Some days I don't paint happy. Some days I want to pitch it all out the window. But I'm very fortunate. I'm fortunate that I have the ability to be able to paint and muck about and do the things I love. Okay hey guys, we're gonna leave that there because I'm pretty okay with that. And then we're gonna go back in as always with our tools, our fancy modifying tool, you guys. This is a toothpick, right? From the dollar store uh, here in Canada, they get like three packs for a buck 50. So how much fancier do we want? I'm gonna turn this because I kind of am gonna start on this side. All right, here we go. We're just gonna, Go in here and modify, you guys. Make some little lines, some big lines. Ooh, I don't know what to do. We're gonna try to do contrasting lines if you can. If you can't, you know what? It doesn't matter. Just modify. Okay, I showed you this yesterday. Normally I tell you guys to wipe your stick off, but if you don't wipe your stick, you can. This isn't gonna be very good. I'm, that one's not gonna work, but I'm gonna show you on a darker piece. So like, bzz, rewind, 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 you guys. That's it. Modify, modify your blooms, you guys. You can see how simple the littlest thing just makes all the changes in the world. It's not, it's not hard. Once you get the mixes right, if you don't have the mixes right, you guys, it does not work. I, I cannot stress that enough. And 
I cannot tell you how many times I have been ready, like I said, to just toss it all out the window. Okay, so here we're going to go dark into green, and then instead of wiping our kebab stick or whatever it is, we're going to start it up here, and we're going to just drag it back through. And we're going to create little stamens for our bloom. A little harder on canvas, it drags. But see how cool that is, you guys? Just gives your piece a whole different look. Well, it might leave that end. Okay, let's do something in here. I don't know, sometimes I get overdone with my modifying. Sometimes it's just nice to leave things simple. How fun would that be? Okay, guys. You guys rock. You guys got this. It's only paint. I'm going to quit here because I know that. Oh, I just slick myself with paint in the mouth. Nice. Nice, another day in my kitchen, paint on my face, paint in my hair. Wouldn't be a day with me if I wasn't covered in paint. Um, yeah, let's do something up here. Okay, you guys, I think I'm pretty happy with that in my must love lime piece let's make a little couple little details look at that i'm going to bring you guys down and voila 12 by 12 canvas modified bloom pour title of the bloom pour is must love lime you guys rock you guys you got this it's only paint i tell everybody the same thing it's only paint look at how pretty that is Thanks guys, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for all your amazing compliments. You guys are wonderful. Bye for now.